So next we have uh, how to mount the actual soot lamp itself. This tower, the eyepieces, and the base are all shipped together in the box. So you're just going to take that and you're going to lift it and you're going to place it on here. And then you're going to place it on the guide rails. And you have to make sure those guide rails that on each side they're on the, the uh, an even. So it's not crooked when it's running down the the uh, the track. So it's nice and smooth. Okay. And then in your kit, there are going to be some other items that are going to be used. You're going to have your side rails. Okay. There's two side rails. Okay. There's going to be the uh, handles. This is for the patient to hold when they're putting themselves in the. Uh, slit lamp and then this is the cable to connect uh, the power and then you have your power cable okay there's a what they call a uh, focus rod and I'll show you where that goes and then you have this little cap that's going to go on the end of the slit lamp you have slip lamp chin rests you have some allen wrenches and you have some spare mirrors to replace the mirror here on the, uh, the slit lamp and then you have a cover and then some pins to hold the chin rest papers down. Okay, so that's your complete kit. So let me just assemble this and kind of show you what we need to do. So your guardrails are going to go in just on the edge. You just slide them under here and they should just snap in and they should be tight. So they go underneath and that's just to keep the slit lamp on its guides. And you get your Oops, a little bit of a okay you have your power cable this is the power for the slit lamp it just goes right here in front of the chin rest and you're going to route your cable in such a way so it's out of the way of the patient uh, going ahead and actually coming around this side would be the best and then using some clamps and go underneath uh, to actually you know make it nice and tidy and plug in underneath you have this cap. This cap is supposed to go and finish off this little top here. Okay, this is also where the focus rod goes. And this is used to focus your oculars and just to look at the actual slit lamp. It just makes it nice and easy to look around the black background. So when the focus rod is not in, this black cap should be put on to make it look nice. Here goes the focus rod. All right. Hopefully I still have you all with me. All right, so connection here with the, uh, the slit lamp. We're gonna make our connection. There's only one way to make the connection. Just make the alignment there. It's gonna go in the front here. So this is getting power and it's gonna transfer the power here. Again, there's only one way for this to actually go on and screw in. And then on top is where you plug in your light for the slit lamp. Okay. And last but not least is the actual handles. These handles go on here. It's for the, the patient to hold when they come forward into the chin rest. And I'm noticing I made a mistake here. That's great. So hopefully you don't make this mistake, but this is on backwards, so it needs to be reversed. And uh, now you learn the right way. So Matt did it the wrong way, so next time just make sure you reverse this when you mount this to the, to the plate.